ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to all of you. Today we are on to the session where we intend to bring to the attention of this absolutely diverse group, diverse audience about the initiatives that have been taken up by the government of Kerala for investment promotion with specific focus on AI and allied sectors of growth. Now, in fact, the Honorable Minister had outlined the initiatives that have been taken up by the state in this regard in all these years, the new policies that have been put in place, the new policies like the graphene policy and the, the logistics, logistics policy and uh, quite a few ESG policy that is to come in immediately, and also about the kind of friendly, investor-friendly approach that we have adopted, we have been able to inculcate among the rank and file of the government and the non-governmental sectors in the state for quite some time. Ultimately, change happens slowly but surely. So naturally enough, one needs to unfreeze certain set perceptions and certain set notions about certain places in the world. Things are happening now at a much greater speed than ever before. And that's what we want to highlight over here. I would seek your attention to a small presentation over here, which would take us to a journey about what are the strengths of Kerala, what are the positives, and what are the exciting opportunities that the state has, not just for the national investor, but for the international investors, for MNCs, and also the micro, small, and medium enterprises. Look at the kind of rankings that Kerala had obtained in all these years in terms of the various summit, energy efficiency index and export preparedness index and the school education quality index, sustainable development goals and so on and so forth. Now these are a measure or a clear, clear indicator of where we stand amongst the Committee of Nations, amongst the Committee of States in the Indian Union. Exceptional literacy and quality of life the Kerala's AQA of 26 and the national compares, look at the comparison it does with the national average and the literacy rate, as is always, sent person literacy and compared to the national average, we certainly come up absolutely in, first of, in the first place. Integration of the health infrastructure and human development is most important and we have the health indices before us. Let's note the kind of uh, extraordinary progress we have made in terms of the maternal mortality rate, the life expectancy at birth, total uh, health expenditure per capita in rupees, and so on and so forth. Next slide. Paul Bearer in terms of the sustainable development goals, the leadership in sustainable development goals that has been created as a result of the innovative policies and the community-driven progress measures that have been adopted. For three consecutive years, we have been the top performer as well as the SDG India Index is concerned. And uh, in terms of the SDG India Index itself, we are ranked eighth in industries. Next. Vibrant education and skilling. Education ultimately gets the extra touch when a great deal of skilling is introduced. Skilling, the progress in skilling have been introduced by way of 100 plus contemporary courses across 14 skill sectors custom-made skill development courses and collaboration with industry partners. It's for all of us to see. The future. As a result, we have a future-ready skilled workforce. This is something of a uniqueness in this part of the globe. This is something we want to reinforce time and again. If there is some sector in which Kerala definitely triumphs about not just about the rest of the states, but also in terms of the quality of the HR in this part of the globe, it would be the future that is skilled force. Skills in healthcare, huge diaspora across the globe in 138 countries, women empowerment, rural urban continuum, and the industry academia collaboration. So, as a result, the employment skilling ranking 
the IT industry's growth with, a, with it being the largest employer of fresh talent nowadays, and 20,000 skilled technicians annually produced from various government and private ITAs across the state. Next one. To give a clear, clear coherence to whatever we had done in the social sector, in tune with that, focused government policies and initiative incentives have been created. Seven focus pillars as far as the industrial policy of 2023 is concerned, entrepreneurship, infrastructure, high-tech transition, skill development, business environment, brand equity, and sectoral industrialization. And as the Honorable Minister remarked, 22 priority sectors that includes aerospace, AI, robotics, biotech, food tech, and several others. Various incentives as well. That's where we actually pitch in with the export policy, the logistics pass policy, and the ESG policy, and the composite licensing with industries with investments of above rupees 50 crores can obtain licenses within seven days. Ease of doing business has been given tremendous attention in these times. Next one. Now we come to infrastructure. Top class infrastructure and responsible investment agenda is called for. 40 plus industrial parks in which 18 are sector specific. The Kochi Bangalore Industrial Corridor is an absolutely futuristic concept with two nodes in Palghat and near to the Cochin, one near to the Cochin International Airport. The private industrial estate scheme has also been introduced. Innovations are promoted and focus is provided on new emerging sectors like AI, design, nanotechnology, graphene, 3D printing, and a strong ecosystem for green infrastructure with hydrogen adoption like Cochin Airport and Unearth and Green Hydrogen Valleys being the clear illustrations of whatever we have. Next. Innovation and the startups. Starting from the year 2006-2007, we have traversed a long distance. Today we have got 5,278 plus startups, four accelerators, 63 incubators. The employment generated is 53,000 plus and 30 crores is the innovation grant that has been disbursed by the government of Kerala. And the VC and the angel funding has attracted 5,500 plus crore rupees. That's something we need to scale up further and further. Next. We clearly focus on the fast progressing IT sector. My colleague, IT secretary, could also speak much about it. We made internet a basic right. The highest mobile network and optic fiber penetration. India's first digital university, the vice chancellor's here. Technopark, Infopark, Trivandrum, Infopark coaching, and Cyberpark Holyport being the major hubs. And look at the graph. From 78,000, the number of IT professionals has risen to 250,000 across the state. So, next one. So, we have led the way in digital transformation. It's the first digital state in the country, high-speed rural broadband, e-literate districts, massive e-certificate issuance, optical fiber connectivity, startup-friendly policies, and smart cities and digital literacy programs. Next one. In terms of the major elements that influence ecosystems, the Maker Village in Cochin, Techno Park in Trivandrum, and Startup Village in Cochin together take care of the space, the ecosystem, the, fire, the various facilities that are required, and also the focus that's provided. non resident care lights live in something like 182 countries across the globe. It's almost 400,000, for, sorry, 400 million uh, care lights living across, 400, 400, uh, 4 million care lights living in, uh, in 182 countries and uh, the remittance is also of substantive nature. Coming on to the AI ecosystem in Trivandrum, highly educated and skilled workforce, ecosystem for startups and uh, the TBI facilitating academia industry collaboration, 
and the Techno Park offers the state-of-the-art facilities, plug and play facilities, with uh, the Trivandrum Engineering, Science and Technology Research Park also being there. Coming to Cochin, it's a potential easy hub. The submarine cam, optical submarine cam cable landing is in Cochin. The IBM's Global Innovation Center is also located here. And uh, International Airport and Seaport, the Special Economic Zones are located. Infopark Cochin and Smart City Cochin being the hubs of activity. Going on to Calicut, Kodiko, we have the cost advantage. It's a three-tier city. It's connected to most of the cities in, the, in South India. Highly skilled manpower from NIT Calicut, IAM Calicut, and so on and so forth. And the Cyber Park Calicut being the major center of activity. Coming on to the mapping of the stakeholders, with all these innovate, innovation enablers, skill development institutions, industry associations, government institutions, industry partners, service providers, VC funds and Indian investors, we strive to bring everybody together. Next. Kerala's AI ecosystem, the MSME AI mission, it promotes AI-enabled solutions in key sectors to support the SMEs. Robotics innovation or incubation centers in collaboration with educational institutions. Fund of funds is provided to attract venture capital investments for AI-based startups. Investment promotion and facilitation, encouragement of procurement and installation. Incidentally, just wanted to state that the Kerala State Industrial Development Corporation has put up an invested desk outside Turned or motivated by whatever goes on inside the hall. If you wish to make a pitch, we have our people waiting outside. And R&D is also taken up in a major way along with skilling and capacity development. The AI ecosystem initiatives and strategies. The importance is very well captured. The online portal, the industry collaboration, ESG and sustainability. Sectors of prominence. Which are those sectors in which we could really have a major, major breakthrough made in the recent future. 3D printing, biotechnology or biomanufacturing, blockchain, next generation computing, advanced analytics, AI, IoT, advanced robotics and cognitive automation, digital design and so on and so forth. I would close my presentation by putting in a few words. Based on all this, Beyond that, it is the willingness and the kind of inclination of a Kerlite to go in for responsible investments promotion on a global scale. We are ready to receive you with both our hands. It's for you to come in and see to it that together we would strive to create Kerala, one of the best investment destinations in the world, especially focusing on AI. Thank you very much. Good luck.